my channel so today's video is kind of like a pop of color tutorial which turned out to be much more than just a pop because I have a lot of color in my eyes <laughs> I just kind of held myself it's been a while since I've done like a color tutorial for you guys I've used mostly neutrals lately which don't get me wrong I love my neutrals but every now and then it is nice to kind of switch it up and do something bright and bold I mean what's the point of being boring your whole life right just stop um, anyway I'm just gonna jump into the video and show you guys how I got this look um, I am using mostly Mad Mineral products by the way I'm new to the brand and I'm very impressed so if you guys want to see a swatch video I have a lot of their eyeshadows I am very impressed and they're super affordable so if you want to see a swatch and a review video on Mad Minerals then please let me know in the comments down below um, I'm gonna jump into it I'm gonna jump into it, but I do want to mention this video is a collab with Nicole Johnson, and I really appreciate the time that she puts into editing her videos and the the talent that she has to share with everybody. She's a very beautiful, talented girl, and she really edits her videos to the T. She's somebody who can inspire a lot of people, so I definitely think that you should check out her channel. She's very, very talented, so she'll be linked down below, or you can click on the annotation that'll lead you right to her channel. So yeah, definitely check that out, you'll not regret it. She puts a lot of time and effort into her videos and I think she deserves way more credit than what she has. So definitely check that out and if you guys would like to see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. So to start off this look, I'm going to prime my eyes of course. I'm using my Mad Minerals Cream Base in the color Bare Necessity. And you usually see me use my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Eden and I wanted to see how this would hold up compared to that and I was actually very impressed. I've never really used a cream base before. It kind of reminds me of Max Soft Ochre, so I was very impressed. And next I'm going to take some Scotch Tape and I'm going to apply that to the corners of my eyes so we're going to do our little effortless cat eye trick here. For today's transition color, I'm using Topaz by Sigma. It's one of their single shadows, and I'm going to apply this right into my crease with a big fluffy blending brush. I have been obsessed with this lately. I've used it in a couple of my tutorials like right in a row, and it's just the perfect warm transition color. And now it's time for the fun part. Let's add a little bit of color. I'm using Mad Minerals Diamond Sapphire, and I'm just going to apply this right to my outer V, but I am avoiding my crease, so really just get it on that lid, so you should have something that looks kind of like this. The next step is to take that same color, I'm just going to apply it right into my inner V, and we are avoiding the crease once again, and avoiding the very center of our lid. So you should have something that looks like this, so we have our center of our lid bare, and nothing on the crease, just right in the outer corner and inner corner of our lid. Now to fill in the center of our lid, I'm using Candlelight by Mad Minerals, and I'm just going to apply this right into the very center, and it's going to look kind of like blue, yellow, blue, but um, you know, go back and forth with the blue and the yellow, kind of blend them out, kind of pull out the edges of the yellow and blend it onto the blue. You know, just keep doing this until you're satisfied with the way that it's blended. I like mine a little bit harsh, but I also wanted to kind of pop. Now to help make the colors pop a little bit more and you know add a little bit more depth to the eyes, I'm using this black color with a more tapered blending brush and I'm applying this ring to my outer V and kind of blending out any harsh lines that we had created with the blues and the yellows and just making sure that everything blends really, really nicely. Go ahead and remove your tape. Here's the sad fact of the day guys, my Lorac Front of the Line Pro Liner has died officially. It is depressing. So I had to resort to my second favorite, I'm using my Maybelline Master Precision Eyeliner Pen and I am winging my eyeliner out and unfortunately this one is kind of running out too so it looks like I need to buy some new eyeliner. Any suggestions guys? But yeah, wing that eyeliner out and you know get it right up to that lash line. Throw a little mascara on your lashes. For my lower lash line, I'm using the same topaz color and just outlining my lower lash line underneath my lashes and just kind of buff it out, starting from the outside and working your way in. You want the darkest parts to be on the outside. And on my inner corner of my lower lash line, I'm using candlelight once again and I'm applying it right to my tear duct area to just kind of give it a nice little pop and blend that right in with topaz. To add another little fun pop of contrast, I'm lining my lower waterline with a nice white liner. 
And then I'm gonna pop some mascara on my lower lashes. And the last step is to throw on some false lashes. I'm using some pretty dramatic ones, but feel free to skip this step if you wanna make it a little bit more natural. And that is how I got this look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.